know is snack rap. You know, we we have these platforms. They're monetizable by clicks. You think that some people are just erasing their integrity and becoming the goofiest version of themselves so that they can get a click? I mean, 100%. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah. that's undeniable because for the first time in history, because of these algorithms, I mean, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, you could have someone with 100 followers that could put up something that's really outrageous and they'll get a million likes by and the next day. And it doesn't have to be truthful. It doesn't have to be truthful. But, but that's never happened before in the history of the world. Right. If you had something that you wanted to get a lot of eyeballs on, you have to go to a major media outlet. They have to put it, you know, produce it, put it out, you know, right. take a, a limited amount of time and devote it to that. A random person can't just go viral 20 years ago, but now someone can. So with that, this is, this is what comes with, you know, the Chicago drill of like, okay, I'm going to smoke on your dead homie. No one was doing that in hip hop. Yeah. You know, I mean, they, Tupac said, I fucked your bitch, but he didn't say, you know, fuck your dead mother. Right. I'm smoking your dead mother right now. Like, you know, the the the, the level of distress. You know, I, I saw some video of a dude that was at a graveyard literally digging up someone's grave. Like literally the shovel, with dirt flying in the air. I don't know if it was real the, or not. The, those guys like, never last long. Right. Well, Everyone, well no. Look, look, look at look. Chief Keef's career. Chief Keef was the one that was talking Chief about Keith, smoking okay. on Tuca, and look at him. He's the biggest Chief thing. Chief Keef is the luckiest one. So but like, however, man, there's it so didn't many go. many dudes out of Chicago, Jacksonville, you know what I'm saying? Like, like there's so many guys because they know that but that's the type of shit. a lot of those guys. FBG black. Duck got killed right after he put out Dead Bitches. You this see what I'm saying? saying? There's so many of them. That's why I say Chief Keef is the lucky one because a lot of these guys that do that, Die. a week later, you hear about them. Some do, some here. don't. Look at how many dead people uh, Lil Dirk has talked about over the years. He's still doing fucking arenas. He said that he stopped now, but look at how many he's already done over the years. Right. It's not a shout well, Dirk. I, I can it's appreciate just, the growth. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, but, but some people don't forgive you for that shit. Mm -hmm. Then there's that. You know? Yeah. Their friend is still dead. I'll be honest. You have, a, you have a, a song with five million streams talking about him, making fun of it. So, so yeah, you have to raise the bar and people have to do more and more outrageous shit because you're competing with people that are doing the same type of outrageous shit. Um, I, I'm not with it. Like, you know, um, you know I, I, I've, I have my niche and I have my following and I, I do what I do and I haven't really deviated too far from that in terms of my principles. Mm. If you look at Vlad TV over the last five, 10 years, it's not that much different. We, we didn't have to... We haven't gone outrageous. We have. We don't do pranks. We, you stopped we, doing porn actors. We, we we did, but that was just part of the growth. You right. know what I'm saying? It was just like we wanted to be. Uh, we wanted not to be. We didn't want to be known for that. Pigeonholed. Pigeonholed into that, and people like Adam came in and did it way better than me, anyways, because he actually was doing porn in himself. Right. You know, and, and yeah, people like him picked up the slack and did it better than me. You're right. more vocal now than you have been. In, in recent years. That's yeah. true. That's oh. true. The whole, uh,